Hey, now I'm talking to my class, but this is a video you should also share with your parents so that they understand what they need to consider when they're getting an instrument for you. Okay, so we talked about how you can choose what instrument you should play. That, of course, the important things to consider are what you like the sound of and what's going to be best for the overall sound of our band. Now, there's a number of ways you can go about getting an instrument. Um, you could already own one. You can go out and buy one. That's pretty simple. Uh, you could rent one or you could borrow one. Now, all of these things have their advantages and disadvantages. Let me talk about each of those. Uh, let's start with renting because it's what most students do. Uh, renting is a fairly simple trans transaction. We partner with Ted Brown Music Company. You can uh, deal with them either online or at their store in person in Silverdale. You go and you fill out an application form that says who you are and they'll charge you a per month fee that lets you use the instrument and covers insurance on that instrument. Uh, they usually have incentives, so the longer you rent the instrument, uh, you get a discount towards buying that instrument or another instrument later on. When you're done renting the instrument, uh, because you've uh, decided to buy one or because you've moved on, you simply give them the instrument back and uh, stop paying the money and, and you're all good. Uh, the, uh, the advantage to that is it's simple and that repairs are covered by the insurance that you're already paying for. Um, disadvantages in the long run, it does end up being a little bit on the expensive side because you're spending money month over month. Uh, but since that money builds up towards helping you uh, with a discount to buy an instrument later, it can actually work out to your advantage because you can use that discount to buy a very nice instrument and uh, save an awful lot of money. Personally, both of my children played in school music programs, my son in orchestra, my daughter in band, and we did a rent rental program uh, through Ted Brown Music when we got their instruments. Uh, now, the next way is, of course, to buy, which is the simplest transaction, but it has the, the greatest risk. Uh, because once you've bought an instrument, there's no insurance to pay for those repairs. You're on the hook for those. And if you buy an instrument that's not very good, you're stuck with that instrument. You can't just return it for something else. Um, so I wanna, want you to use caution if you're choosing to buy an instrument. I've got an article on my website about uh, selecting an instrument to buy. I highly recommend you read that before you go out and buy one. The, my biggest concern is when people go out to buy an instrument from something that's not a music store. Uh, if you went to Walmart and they happen to have clarinets on sale, I can't guarantee you're getting an instrument that's very good because Walmart's not known for selling clarinets and they certainly don't have anyone on staff that can set it up or repair it. Um, sometimes you'll see instruments at, at certain websites uh, that have very attractive prices. Uh, but again, they're, um, let the buyer beware. You, you don't know what you're getting. Uh, for me, I would never uh, expect to pay less than $500 for a brand new instrument. If you see a brand new instrument on sale on a website for uh, $100 or less, it's definitely not worth it. You can read the article. I, I give you a, a bunch of reasons why. But odds are you're getting a piece, uh, an instrument that's... Um, that's not playable in its current condition and if it is playable is likely to break very very quickly and when you bring it into a repair shop they are likely to tell you that you're out of luck they're not going to be willing to try and repair that instrument because it's they're of poor quality and they like to be able to guarantee their work and they cannot guarantee that any repair they do on a poor quality instrument is going to stick so they're going to say now you're stuck with it so you buy a hundred dollar clarinet off a website uh, and it doesn't work, you take it to the repair shop and they tell you you're out of luck, all you can do is buy another $100 clarinet and throw that one away, uh, which is, you know, then you're throwing good money after bad. Um, definitely, you're, you're better off renting a good quality instrument versus buying something you see that's really cheap. You, you really, you get what you pay for. Um, now, uh, another uh, of the categories I talked to was borrowing an instrument. If you know someone that 
that plays an instrument or used to play an instrument and will loan one to you for free, that's great. You save a lot of money. The school has a number of instruments uh, that I can loan out to, to students if you choose to because you, you can't afford to, to buy one or rent one. In fact, I would much rather you borrow one of my instruments than buy a low cost one off a website that's just going to fail on you. Uh, I, I would much prefer you borrow one of my instruments uh, for free instead of, um, of spending your money buying an instrument that's just not going to be worth your money. Uh, now, of course, the disadvantages to borrowing an instrument are it's never going to be yours. Once you're done with it, you're going to have to return it to whoever you borrowed it from, whether that's your cousin Jake or your band director. Um, I like to recommend that students rent instruments because they're, they're putting money into it to, towards a discount, so eventually they can buy one of their own. Um, and I want you to have your own instrument so you can become a lifelong uh, musician. If you're borrowing one from the school, once you leave school, you don't have an instrument to play on anymore.